Hello my crafty friends. Welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary and today we're going to do a card using a Cards TV card kit and caboodle sketch. This is sketch number 8 and you can find this over at my blog. I think I have 25 now or 26 card sketches and they're free to download. Just go to my blog cardstv.blogspot.com and look up at the top under the title and you'll see Mary's card sketches. Click on that and then you'll find all the card sketches and just click on the ones you want or all of them and download them to your computer wherever you keep your photographs. And then you'll have them handy whenever you're stumped for an idea for a card. So we're going to use number eight as I said. We're going to use some paper from this Lawn Fawn Let's Polka in the Meadow. Really cute. This Pebbles Garden Party. And we're going to kick it old school today, guys. We're going to use the Cricut Expression. And we'll be using Create a Critter and Elegant Edges. So let's get started on this cute little card. Now I've already got my card kit made up in this envelope using sketch number 8. All my pieces are cut and ready to go. And we've got a white card base. This is an A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. And we look over here, and that's what it says card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I've got a black mat, which I don't have listed on here because I like to add lots of mats. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Then our next mat is four by five and a quarter. And that's this cute little honeycomb paper from that Pebbles paper pad. And as you can see, I've already stamped my sentiment down here, and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. So that's going to go on top of the black. And then we look, and we have a one and a half inch by five and a quarter inch border. This is some more of the paper from the Pebbles pack. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got little bees all over it on a blue background and it's got the little trails where they're flying around that's going to go there and our next border is half an inch by five and a quarter inches and this little strip came from that lawn fawn paper pad that's going to go right there so i'm going to grab my Art glitter glue and get all this adhered down and then we'll come back and I'll show you what comes next. Okay, there's my card base. Next, we're going to take the Elegant Edges cartridge. And on page 51, under oblong, I hit shift and oblong. I cut this shape out of white at three and a quarter inches. Then I came down here and hit shift and shadow and I cut the shadow out of black. Let me show you that. And I'm going to get this adhered together and get it on some foam tape. And I'm going to put that right there just like in the uh, sketch. Now the sketch, if you don't have elegant edges and you just want to do the rectangles, the mat is two and a half by three. Wait a minute. This is the shadow two and a half by three and a quarter and then the regular white mat is two and a quarter by three inches. Now we're going to add an image to the front and for that I use the Create a Critter cartridge and on page 68 we'll find this cute little bee. I think he's adorable. I cut the back of the bee at two and three quarter inches out of black and then his face out of yellow, also at two and three quarter. And it also cuts the little stripe that goes around his tummy right there. And then for his wings, I use some really pale blue. Now his face is layer one. The wings are layer two. And they're going to go on just like this. Where's the other one? There it is. And as I said, I cut my bee at two and three quarter inches. I'm going to grab that art glitter glue and get him all put together. I'm going to put him on some foam tape 
and stick him here on the front as well. Here's my cute little bee card all finished and I don't know if you can see but I took some of these black faceted gems. I put a medium one on the end of each of his antenna. Hope you can see that sparkle. And then I took the tiny ones and put one in each eye. And that just really made it cuter, I think. Gave him a little bit more personality. Now, about the sentiment, just buzzing by to say hi. You can use this for thinking of you, a birthday card, a get well. It just depends on what you put on the inside. But this sentiment, just buzzing by to say hi, comes from the Cards TV Going Buggy stamp set. And for a limited time, guys, this is on sale for $7.99 plus shipping and handling. We've got Going Buggy, Be Happy, Ladybug Hugs, Bzzz, Just Buzzing By to Say Hi, like we used on today's card, I'm Buggy for You, Ants in Your Pants, <laughs> Hello Honey, Got Bees in Your Bonnet, Butterflies are free, cute as a bug, love bugs, so beautiful, you're the bee's knees, and caught a bug. And as I said, this is $7.99 plus shipping and handling for a limited time. And if you're interested in this one, guys, hop on over to cartstvstamps.blogspot.com and pick this one up while it's at such a good low price. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. And don't forget to go and pick up your card sketches over at my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. Have an awesome day, everybody. Thanks again for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon with another card. Bye now. Mm -hmm.